proximity makes it a rivalry, but as more and more of these games come in uh, and the stories that can get told uh, through history and time, I think that's how real rivalries are built um, and they're not manufactured. So now we'll have uh, another big game um, to kind of add uh, another notch in the, the folklore, the, however you want to say it, the nostalgia, the history uh, of the rivalry. Um, something crazy is going to happen. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> uh, you know, and you just hope that that something is uh, in your favor. We know Red Bull very well. We know what they're all about. Pressing, you know, and the, the intensity that they bring, we got to be able to match that. And I know that if we, if we do match that, that then our, let our soccer take over because I do believe we, we are a better soccer team. It's up to us to perform to a level in front of our home fans that we know we're capable of and um, get that victory, you know. But at the end of the day, I don't care how we get it. A win is a win, and we, and we must win this game at home. Philly is a tough, a massive opponent in the first round, but we are ready. We are ready for a big fight. We are ready for for one more great game and for one more great uh, performance. I can feel hungry boys in my dressing room and this makes the situation for Philly not easier. These last few months have helped us prepare for this moment, um, but it's important for us all to reset and be ready um, for this game. And, you know, all of our hard work has led us to this opportunity, but now it's, it's time for us to take advantage of this opportunity. Swinging it across, as Miles Robinson was there for Atlanta. I wouldn't say there's much of a change because we were pretty much playing for we need to win every game and that's the same mentality we have now. It's only one game and that's all that matters. If you lose, you're out and you win, you're uh, the next stage. Now a chance here for New York City. Tati the header! And Tati scores! We really, really have put this up together now because we had to do it to get into the playoffs and now we have three wins and two draws. Last five, and uh, we haven't lost one of the others. We've been out of the playoffs. That says something about how to deal with pressure, and uh, and we have done our jobs. And uh, it's all, all the credit now to the boys, how they have really, really stood up for for each other and uh, and performed. Sean Johnson, what a save as he buries it over the bar. You know, this group's a group. Uh, you know, continue to, to to fight no matter what happened this season, and we overcame adversity many times. And put ourselves in a position where we have a, a home game first round of the playoffs and uh, yeah, we'll look to take advantage of that. The players, the way they came back, the way they put everything together, you know, put the slips up and just fight for every point. So I'm very proud of that. And now the players now still, we need to continue with that mentality of, you know, this is life or death. That's the mentality that I want. Knocked down in the area, Robin Lund stabs it in! The loons are flying right now. Big game for us. We proved before we can go on the road and win in playoff situations. It's been a real good mood in the group. You can sense that they know it's, you know, it's, it's win in advance or go home. And I think we all want to carry on. We know it's going to be tough. They're particularly good form at this moment in time. But I think they know that we are, you know. And I think it will be whoever's big players come up on the day. Chase gets it. Playoffs are a totally different game, so we're not going to really ride on what we've done in the past. We, we know how important what's on the line on Sunday, so we're going in with the right mentality and going to win. Blanco leaving a Paredes! Oh, it's wonderful from the Timbers! The energy, the feeling, the passion from the fans. We couldn't have finished in a better way. Now we have to make sure that we're ready and concentrated to what is coming in the playoff. Now we, we have to bring a, even a higher level. Six for Portland! We know it's going to be a difficult match. They have a good team. It could have been anybody, and, and anybody would have been definitely a, a, a good competition and a difficult match. And now we just have to focus on, on, on the team that we're playing in, in front of us. Just to remind everyone, um, the Whitecaps will play Sporting Kansas City in the playoffs. No, uh, we'll beat Sporting Kansas City. It's different. Okay, okay. I know Peter very well. He doesn't need my uh, me to, to get fired up. He's a, he's a pretty fired up guy uh, anyway. They're a good team, a uh, very good roster. Um, play with a lot of enthusiasm, play with a lot of uh, desire. Um, and, you know, we're in what I call the new season.
right? You're in the playoffs. Everything else prior to this um, doesn't really matter anymore. Yeah, we need momentum. You know, we're coming off three losses, which is not something that is normal or something we've probably done in a really long time. We need to get back to winning ways, and we have the opportunity to do it at home in front of the most supporting fans ever, and it's going to be an awesome environment. It's going to be a fun, fast game, and, you know, we're going to build a momentum in that first playoff game. I think the pressure is on them to kind of get the result. You know, they're at home, they're sporting Kansas City, and, you know, it's for us, it's, it's a good challenge, and we know it's going to be a fight, so we're just looking to go out there and do everything we can to come out with a win. Personally, I approach it as we're even, but I think that, you know, everybody will probably say that we're underdogs, which is fine. We're fine with that. Uh, we've been that the entire season. I've, we've been that since I've, you know, been here for five seasons now, so that's fine. We, we own that, but... Um, I think that anything can happen in the MLS playoffs, so we're going to go in with just as much confidence as them. I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to the game. I know I've been in Kansas City a million times, even when I worked with the Federation before, so I know that the environment there is beautiful, so in any case, it's going to be a blast.